Oh, we're rolling! Yeah. So, guys, we're rolling. Got all my ingredients. Okay. Hey, guys. Admin here. Welcome to the monkey bar. Also known as Monster. You might know me from certain things such as my other videos on Instagram and YouTube. But we're gonna do an original cocktail tonight. This very delicious gin, generous gin. It's made in France. You may have seen it before. I'm gonna be using some of Nickel Brook's lime cucumber goza today. And a goza has Himalayan salt and coriander to top up the cocktail which means it's not gonna be gluten-free. Nickel Brooks Lime and Cucumber Goza again today. If you saw my last video, I used it to top up a previous cocktail. This is going to be a slightly friskier version of that cocktail. I know we all love our gardens in Toronto. So if you're growing anything in your garden, this is a garden cocktail. It's called Brendy's Garden because Brendy has supplied my syrup. This is Brendy's syrup. It's got mint, sage, and lemon balm, all from her garden. I also have Guyanese oregano. Yeah, I know you've never heard of that. It's crazy. Come see me if you want to get some. So I've got Guyanese oregano from my garden. Got some fresh dill. We've also got some basil from Brendy's garden that's gonna go in there. And this is a muddled cocktail, so you will need your muddlers, or if you don't have a muddler, something to smash that cocktail with. And by the cocktail, I mean all the ingredients in it. We are working with cucumber, the complex syrup. It's also brown sugar because we love brown sugar. Again, just adds that extra layer of complexity to any cocktail. Let's get going. So gin, fresh everything and anything from your garden. Cucumber is magical. I love cucumber. And of course, our citrus melange. So it's got lemon and lime as per usual. Let's get started making this cocktail. Got my cheater tin. I'm going to make two in here, so everything's gonna be doubled. I've got my cucumber that I've cut up. Again, it can be chunky. Just gonna be muddling that anyway. Putting that in there. You don't have to be over generous, but you also don't really need to monitor how much cucumber you're putting in. It's gonna get strain through your strainer anyway. So again, we're just muddling this in. I like drinking, so we're gonna put a healthy two ounces in each cocktail because there are quite a few ingredients going in here. The reason I'm putting two ounces of the gin in there is because it's a very beautiful gin. I really want it to come through. You also have a bunch of other ingredients that are going in there. It's really gonna balance out with all those flavors as well. It's gonna be a longer cocktail, so more ingredients means, what does it mean? It's gonna be more volume, it's gonna be a taller drink. Again, this is a premium gin, so we really wanna showcase it, and it's really gonna come through, so we've bumped up the alcohol content in this cocktail. So, cucumber, dill. If you're ever using fresh herbs, give them a little smack before you toss them in, it activates the herbs. If you've ever rubbed your fingers on any herbs, that's how you get the smell out, so, that is the activation of the herbs. So just a little pop, pop. It's okay, they fell. So we got our slap on. Gonna get this fresh dill in the cocktail as well. A little more dill, cause I'm doing two in there. By a little, I mean a lot. That was my one dad joke for this cocktail. Uh, the Guyanese oregano. I love this so much. So the Guyanese oregano, these are particularly large leaves. I've had this plant for quite a while. My roommate, Melly Finn, bow, 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 Mel Finn, has uh, been taking such good care of these plants for me. They are so happy right now. That, like, that's just such a beautiful leaf. This is a more, even these are big. This is a more typical size, but just so happy in the sun. All the love from Mel. If these leaves look familiar to you, you might be thinking they're Japanese shiso. They are not. I actually had these plants for about four years and was trying to figure out what they were. I had no idea. My mom is from Guyana and gifted them to me and I just had them in my apartment. And they smell like lemon balm, oregano, mint. Like it smells like everything. It's such an incredible herb. It is in fact broadleaf oregano or Guyanese oregano. So 
native to South America, I don't think you can find it in Toronto. I have no idea where to find this. I showed it to my chef friends. They had no idea what it was as well until I finally just did a massive Google search and I finally discovered it was in fact Guyanese oregano. My mom told me it was oregano. I was like, mom, this isn't oregano. Hey, come on, that's not oregano. It's Guyanese oregano, kids. Gonna get this bad boy in there. We're gonna do two leaves for two cocktails. Again, these are very, very large leaves, so quite enough. Oh, I didn't give it the old slap -a -roo. So we're gonna slap these to activate them. Shazam! Did you see that? Did you see that they flew everywhere? They like getting smacked. Smack your herbs, kids. We're going to start with an ounce and a half of citrus per cocktail. And we're going to use the same amount of the complex syrup. Again, brown sugar, sage, mint, and lemon balm. And we are going to muddle. We are going to muddle it all together, yeah. Muddling infuses all the flavors from anything that isn't already infused, essentially. So you can infuse a liquor or a simple syrup with an ingredient. If you haven't done that, when you muddle them into your cocktail, you're releasing all the flavors into all the liquids that are in your shaker tin. When I talk about infusion, think about tea. You drop your tea leaves into a cup of hot water and that's how it infuses. If the water wasn't hot, which it's not, and it's not water, it's liquor and citrus, the way to get those flavors into the cocktail is by like, kneading them if you want to think of dough, but so that's essentially what muddling is. Yeah, it's like massaging. You're massaging the flavor out of all the ingredients. I forgot the basil. Here we go. So I've just harvested this from Brendy's garden. Actually, Brendy harvested them for me. When you want to harvest any of your garden herbs, you want to pinch the end to protect your plant. Okay, so basil's going in, we're still muddling. Fresh basil, fresh cucumber, fresh dill, complex brown sugar syrup infused with sage, lemon balm, and mint. And maybe now you're realizing why we're calling this a garden cocktail, AKA Brendy's Garden. Got the generous gin, floral, aromatic. And we are going to top it up with the lime cucumber goza. Bon, just keep muddling. Just keep muddling. Because there are two cocktails in here, again, extra muddling, there's gonna be extra shaking, not gonna have as much ice as is ideal for a single cocktail. So the shake will be longer, the muddling will be longer, the cheater tin's just a bit full. I would never really make more than two cocktails in one shaker. So, Let's do this. All the ingredients are in the shaker tin. It is still very hot outside, as you can see. Spoon your ice responsibly. Spoon your ice responsibly, seriously. Also drink responsibly. We all like drinking. I like drinking. But these days are hot. You gotta stay hydrated and you gotta be smart. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be fresh. So full, full, full of ice. Two cocktails in here, extended shake, extended muddle. Guy, okay. gonna perform some monkey magic here in a second. works it's crazy all right so we've got our monkey glasses we've got our monkey cocktail all right should have mentioned this before I have my favorite strainer on the market it's a Hawthorne strainer the, I don't even know what to, the slinky? The spring, the spring is, uh, it's extra fine. 
this strainer was developed so that you didn't need to double strain a cocktail. As you can see, there's dill, there, there's so many fresh things, like a couple dill fronds have made it in, which I'm totally okay with. If you're not, always get a uh, fine mesh strainer. And if you don't have this particular strainer, you are 100% gonna want one of these anyway, because you're not gonna be fine straining anything out of your cocktail without one of these. Give these guys the love they deserve. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, baby. Was I supposed to go? Floating it on top here. Yeah! You can hear the bubbles. That's a classic. <laughs> it's so good! Oh, that's a winner. Oh, I'm drooling again. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, guys. Brandy's Garden. Please, please make this at home. It's. This is my summer drink. This is it. This is it right here. Mm. so good I like drinking I know you do too drink responsibly guys it's a hot hot summer make sure you're hydrating this is a relatively healthy cocktail cucumber garnish cucumbers loaded with water just make sure you guys are drinking responsibly out there okay and enjoy <laughs>